Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of the Speaker Series Spotlight. I am your host, Brad the Brick Critchfield, and today I have Dr. Michelle Litzinger from Back to Life Chiropractic. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Brad? I'm doing very well besides these allergies. Oh, uh, yes. And that's the last time I'll bring up the allergies. <laughs> I'm going to stop complaining about them right now. <laughs> okay. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about your business, how long you've been in Lakewood, and what do you guys do? Um, well, I've been in Lakewood. I grew up in Lakewood. Um, I graduated back in 2007, so I've been a chiropractor for about 11 years now. I started my own practice in the South Bay, um, but I kind of wanted to go back to the Lakewood area. So in 2010-11, I actually purchased a um, practice from someone, and I've been in Lakewood since then. Awesome. Lakewood has that... that it does that to people. It makes you come back. It sucks you back in a little bit. It really does. Yeah, what high school did you go to? I went to Lakewood High. Okay, so cool. I was born and raised, yep. Awesome. I went to Bancroft, Lakewood High, and now I get to treat my fellow friends and their parents. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's very cool. It's yeah. a trip. I have yeah. my, my business in Lakewood, and I went to Lakewood High. Oh, yeah. It's always cool like when you see somebody you haven't seen in like 10 years just walk in. Exactly. Yeah. It's always nice when you, when you uh, recognize them. Every once in a while, you don't, <laughs> and it can get real that, awkward real yes, fast. Yes, that's happened. Yeah, yes. I'm a good. I can recognize people's face, but sometimes it's the names that get me. Really? Yeah. See, with 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 guys, uh, we have an an extra hurdle uh -huh. um, with beards and facial hair, because mm -hmm. when you haven't seen them since 18, they come in, they have a full beard, and they go, "Why didn't you know it was me? We were right. best friends." <laughs> right, you know, right. like, I don't know. You're like, oh, sorry. I can see two inches of your face. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> exactly. that's why. So, what is it that you guys do? Um, actually, we're, so it's a full wellness office, so we have, I, I do chiropractic, obviously, and then we also have massage therapy, so we treat any anyone from little babies all the way up to people that are 100 years old. Do you um, massages on babies? Not massages, just the chiropractic on, on babies. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is that a new thing, or is that... No, actually, because actually, a lot of times you've been, people have been subluxated at birth, and subluxation basically is where there's pressure. Word. It is kind of, right? Uh, That's my education right there. It's another thing. Scrabble winner. Exactly. exactly. So uh, subluxation is basically when the, there's pressure being put on the nervous system. Okay. And so as chiropractors, we find that subluxation, and we take the pressure off. And as a baby, just with the birthing process itself, a lot of babies can actually be born with these subluxations, uh, why they have a lot of um, GERD or um, just kind of cranky in a sense or having digestive problems. So we treat a lot of babies right out of, um, right from birth, basically. Okay. Yeah. So massage therapy. Massage therapy, yes. Uh, general chiropractic. Yes. Baby chiropractic. Oh, yes. Uh, chiropractic for everyone. So and what else do you do? Um Basically, I, I treat a lot of athletes, a lot of personal injury cases. Um, we do. We have a lot of different types of techniques in our office, and so basically, everyone's um, likes a different type of technique. So it's basically yeah. kind of when you meet somebody, is what technique's going to work best for them. So we have a lot of non-force technique, a lot of manual technique, um, and depending on what a patient likes, is how we how we treat them. Basically, what's best for the body. So most of your clientele are athletes, or are they? You said injury cases, so probably a lot of injury people cases. through insurance and stuff. Yeah, um, car accidents has kind of been a big one um, yeah. lately. Um, obviously, when you're in a car accident, it just puts havoc on your spine with the forward flexion. So we treat a lot of um, accident cases. I treat a lot of athletes, a lot of families, a lot of families. And and what got you into chiropractic in the beginning? Um, I'm an athlete myself. Okay. And so, what, which um, which uh, which sport? Basketball. Basketball. Yes, basketball. I wasn't gonna guess, but what would I have guessed? I would have said volleyball. Everyone for some says reason. volleyball. Yeah, yeah. I think. No, yeah. but you'd be surprised how high I could jump. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So basically, I was in a car accident in high school, um, and from the from the car accident, it just put my body in muscle spasms. It made my body just feel weak. And so once I found chiropractic, it kind of opened everything back up. And it kind of started ma making me think about the possibilities of what chiropractic could do for me and for other athletes. Right. So kind of focused on that. I started focusing on athletes, and then I kind of expanded from there. That makes sense. Yeah. I think that happens a lot with people, like especially uh, athletes. Like if they get really injured and they mm -hmm. go through, like, like have a really good physical therapist, and they mm -hmm. go, that's something I want to do. So same thing with chiropractic, I guess. Abs oh, yeah, absolutely. So give me your elevator pitch. What makes your chiropractic office different than... You know, the next one? I think just because I'm uh, relatable to a lot of people. And so I think if you have a connection with people and people feel comfortable when they come in, then they're going to trust you with their spine. Right. And so we have a great staff. 
Um, we have another doctor in the office. Um, everyone that's been in my office has been with me for a long time. So you're going to get quality care. And I think that's the difference between maybe other offices and mine is that we have quality in our office. Because it is scary. Like You kind of touched on that. But, like, yeah. I've, <laughs> I've had, like, I'll, 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 I'm one of them, like, where I've right. had, like, I'd say like a subpar treatment, I guess you'd call it. Right, right. And I was more jacked up when I went. And so yeah. I think after something like that, it's just really kind of like you become, you know, you, get you a kind of guard scared. yourself, right? Because yeah. it is scary. It's your, oh, it's your body. spine. Well, yeah. I mean, I think there's a lot of professions like that. You know, like a dentist is one, right? Like yeah. You kind of get a little bit nervous. My mom had a bad experience one. when she was younger, and she yeah. never went back to the dentist. Okay, like, it'll good. just scar you. Yeah. I My thing is, is everyone should be under chiropractic care. And so if you're not with me or my office, then you need to be treated by somebody. You just have to find the right fit for you. I would love to have you at the gym sometime, maybe would, talk about what you do. I would love to come down to the gym. And yeah. Why don't you tell uh, our viewers like how they could find you, how they can get more information, okay. where you're at. And all that well, our stuff. Um, office is Back to Life Chiropractic again. Um, we are at 4115 South Street, just below the chamber office. It's like right right there yeah, you're probably stepping on my office right now is it right here i think it's off one off one yeah so it's like right there yeah off one there um five six two four zero one 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 four zero is our office number um we do get booked up pretty quick so but if you call and make an appointment then you know we'll make sure that you get seen and have some a good experience are you on any social medias a little bit yeah i do the, yeah. the, the yelp and the facebook and the the Instagram okay. a little bit. I'm not a very good Instagrammer, but no, yeah, Insta- <laughs> yeah. There's just too many platforms. It, it could yeah. really. It's a full time job. Yeah, it, like owning your own business and running your own business. You have five different platforms to post daily on. Yes, it it, it can be kind of. Yeah, and a I'm lot. a mom, so you throw yeah. in a three and a half Me year too. old. Then not a mom. Oh, your mom. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sort but of it, like it, a mom, just the guy part. There you yeah. go. See, dad. Your own version. There you go. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to Thank the you chamber. Thank for inviting me. I Kept appreciate making it. the trip. Yeah, I know it's a long walk upstairs. I know, I know. I got ten steps on my uh, Garmin, so yeah. thank you. On your what? On your... my Garmin. Yeah. Oh, my you get... Oh, I'm an Apple guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, same thing. I get it though. Yeah. yeah. It all well, works out. Uh, thank you again, and uh, we'll we'll be posting this up very shortly. Well, right now, if you're watching it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week in the next episode of the Speaker Series Spotlight. Take care.